Hey everybody, it's Jamie here. Welcome to Pino's Ayana. We are going to take you on a tour of the Olive Grove, a complimentary, mostly complimentary, speciality dining experience. Much beloved, very difficult to get a table, but we have a table tonight and also later in the holiday. We booked it uh, whilst on dry land. So how popular is the Olive Grove? Well, we're just waiting to check in. Oh, hi, wine. Uh, we just heard the lady say it's fully booked every night uh, for the whole duration of this seven night cruise, but we have two nights booked. As always, I'm gonna rate each plate and here's that all important criteria for you. So what is it everyone loves about the Olive Grove? Well, hopefully we will find out and I'll be able to report back to you. I'm really sorry if I'm slurring a bit. I am actually really drunk. <laughs> I've had far too many cocktails and wine, but I'm, I'm gonna try my best for you, I promise. And in we go. Hi, Olive Grove, it's been some time. Oh, it feels like I've already been transported to the Mediterranean. I swear to the Mediterranean gods. Oh, I've lost Matthew. I think he's around here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, oh, that lady was lovely. Right, here we are. Olive Grove. Nice and quiet around this corner, actually. So there's a couple of nice little nooks and crannies at the Olive Grove. Ah, oh, I love these lanterns. Splash of Mediterranean colour on the walls. Alrighty, let's have a look at the Olive Grove menus. So, what you need to know is most of the dishes here are actually complimentary, which is fantastic. And that's probably why it's so busy. Uh, so suitable for two, you've got a grazing menu of Greek mezze, Italian antipasti and Mediterranean trio. You've got some salads, Italian salad, classic Caesar. You can add uh, crispy pancetta, grilled chicken breast, avocado, chorizo, fantastic. So you've got your seafood options. Not for me, thank you. Otherwise I will be hurling. Uh, pasta. Now I've seen pictures of the lasagna and it looks fantastic. Extras. Oh, listen to that. Sea salt and rosemary focaccia bread, French fries. Fantastic. You've got your grill. So Greek lamb gyros. Do you say gyro or gyro? Heroes, oh, hero. Heroes. 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 Char grill boneless puri for chicken. Sounds nice. You've got your angin kebab. Ah, uh, tagine, confit of something or other. Seafood, uh, chicken, chorizo, paella. Oh, beef buco, slow-cooked uh, slow beef shin with olives and tomatoes, pom puree and friarielli broccoli. I don't know what that is. The pizzas on the past, they looked really thin, large, delicious. So there's an open kitchen here and you can see the chefs at work, uh, pizza oven, pizzas look really good actually. All right, and it would be very remiss of me to not show you the beer, cider, and wine list as well. And of course, we've got some Shake It Up cocktails. Sound good, don't they? Well, that Sunset Cooler. Now then, Emma Ludlow, she loves the Sunset Cooler. She introduced me to that on Ventura, and the girl is right. Beautiful drink. I might have one of those. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that does sound nice. Yeah, you see, Matthew's like, oh my god, I want that too. All right, and a look at some of the other drinks as well. Oh, and here we are with the non alcoholic. And a quick pan around of the restaurant. It's awesome. Really getting the Mediterranean vibes here. And that's not just because I'm drunk, I promise you. Right, well, my sunset cooler has arrived, which is white wine, uh, peach snaps, cranberry, and soda. And our grazing starter for two. We've got croquetas, uh, halloumi, calamari with baby chorizo. I'm just wondering where our padron peppers are. They haven't arrived. And uh, we've also got a side of the focaccia, which has sea salt and rosemary. Matthew's tucking into the calamari. I can't eat seafood. How's that? Really detailed, in-depth, forensic analysis of the calamari from Matthew there. Bit chewy. Uh oh, a bit chewy. Let's move on. Still going. <laughs> He's still going. Well, hopefully the focaccia is good or better than the slightly chewy calamari. Actually, that's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Love the sea salt on that. And that hint of rosemary. Herbalicious. So, these are the croquetas de jamón. 
made with um, Iberico ham and they're just set on top of a, a salsa of some description. Let's have a go. Mmm, they're good actually. Nice, crispy outside, sort of potato in the middle with a little bit of ham running through it. Mm. I've had halloumi a hundred billion times. Let's see what it's like from the olive grove. I mean, it's like bog standard halloumi. Could be charred a little bit more. Could be served with some sort of dip or something. I don't know. It's halloumi. Nothing special. Alrighty, sunset cooler time. I'll wash down all that food. Oh, that is delicious. Really refreshing, actually. You're probably looking at it thinking, look at all the eyes. It's really good. I promise you, take my word for it. Whether it's winter, spring, autumn, summer, it doesn't matter, that's the one. Oh, Matthew's lasagna has arrived. It looks like a really good size. Uh, garlic bread with it, a little bit of rocket. Is that a salsa? I think it's salsa. Yeah. All right, so I am a thief of lasagna. It's good actually. Quite tomatoey, nice bechamel um, sauce on top. Maybe it could be a little bit firmer, but it's tasty. I like it. I've got the peri peri chicken. I think that's chicken breast. It does look and smell gorgeous. Some fries, slaw, sweet corn relish, and I think that's a tomato relish as well. Looks good. And my peri peri chicken. It looks like it's been cooked really well, actually. It smells delicious. Hmm, that's much smokier than I was anticipating. It's got a little kick of heat. I think that could be a lot more flavoursome actually. It's kind of like paprika, but it doesn't have that depth of flavour that Perry needs. So what I like about the slaw is that it, um, it's actually really thinly sliced. I don't like massive chunks of cabbage and stuff in your slaw, so nice. Really creamy as well. That one's a good one. Uh, nice kick of pepper, like it. All right, so here's where I was going wrong. And I do apologize, this sauce is where you're gonna get all the flavor and the spice, okay? It's really good. We'll try again with the sauce. That's much better. That's exactly how it should be. That's fiery, tomatoey, paprika, mm, nice kick of chili, like that one. Right, so we're just finishing off our main courses and we've met, what's your name John? please? And? Fiona. And this is your first time? First time on Iona. And how are you finding it so far? I know it's early days, it but... It is early days, but loving it, every bit of it so yeah. far. Yeah. And how was your meal at uh, the Olive Grove? Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely we were fabulous. undecisive whether to go into the main restaurant, but mm -hmm. we thought we'd try this. We got the reservation booked yeah. before we left, and I uh, thought, let's keep the booking for 8 o'clock and we've been good time to go to the theatre now for the 10.30 show. There you show. go. I yeah. think you made a good choice, by the way, because yeah. we always say on the first night of a cruise, yeah. don't go to the main dining room because no. everyone's trying to find their feet and it's busy. Come to a speciality yeah, restaurant like this. Exactly. Yeah, nice so, and we've met some nice people who were chatting oh, uh, and they've just left. Well. Yeah, and we've met you as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you have a really good week. Thank you so much for appearing on this. I appreciate it. Wonderful. All right, Look take care. To seeing you around yeah. the ship. <laughs> right, feeling sweet. So the V for vegetarian, you've got gluten-free. And what I really love is that there's a low sugar option. Look, there's a flourless chocolate and roasted hazelnut cake with ricotta cream or vanilla gelato, and it's low sugar. Dessert has arrived, and Matthew has gone for the Sicilian lemon tart with a uh, Turkish rose water ice cream. All right, and you can't beat an affogato. Espresso and vanilla gelato. Pour it over. And watch it melt. Mmm, mmm. Oh, yes. Right, so Matthew is a, a fan of the lemon tart. Nice and tart. Uh, but the rose water ice cream is very strong. If you've ever had Turkish Delight, multiply that flavor by about a thousand and then you'll know what you're going to be eating. But the lemon tart is good. The affogato is delicious. It's incredibly strong coffee. Uh, so you want to make sure your gelato does melt first of all. 
Alrighty, that is the Olive Grove part one. We are actually coming back in a couple of nights time uh, to try some different items on the menu. So let's fast forward blah, 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 and here we go again. Oh yes, we got a booking in the Olive Grove times two. <laughs> We're back. We've got a different seat. I, do you know what, can I just say I prefer this seat to the last one? Yeah. It's kind of like in the mix a little bit more. Um, I'm assuming the menu is exactly the same, is it? Mm -hmm. But we're going to do things a bit differently tonight. I want to remind you, if you want a table at the Olive Grove, you must book in advance. It's heaving. Um, the lovely lady who seated us, when I was saying, there are so many people who want to get a table here, and they're very upset that they missed the boat, and she's like giggling, like, yeah, use the internet. When tables are released two weeks in advance, on the cruise personalizer, book, book, book. You've been warned. Okay, so this is a little bit weird, and this is where P&O need to be careful. So I asked for a sunset cooler, and they said they can't do it because they don't have that type of white wine available. And I'm like, so you're telling me you don't have any white wine? Because Matthew just ordered some, and they said, no, we have white wine. We don't have that white wine. I'm like, well, can you put one of those white wines in? and that might come with a surcharge and i think this is very very odd I understand they're trying to make money but how strange to have all this white wine and they can't just say we'll pop that one in the sunset cooler okay i know first world problems and all <laughs> matthew's talking about how hr are gonna have words with the staff for giving me a sunset cooler with posh wine anyway it tastes exactly the same that's the one I had the other night. It's very nice. I wonder how much they're going to charge us for that. I say us, Matthew, because he's already had his card over, not me. Right, our grazing platter has arrived. Thank you, Matthew. So we've got pita, we've got Mediterranean grilled vegetables, uh, beetroot, kalamata olives, feta, and hummus. hummus. It looks like. Um... Baba ganoush, but, Baba ganoush, but it's it not. Is. It's yeah, sorry, it'll be on the menu. I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, looks nice. So this beetroot dip, I love the fact that it is so pink. Uh, let's have a go. Um, not a fan of the beetroot dip. Kind of like yogurt. It's quite sour as well. I love beetroot, but that not quite for me, I'm afraid. Here, you no know, hummus. Right, that has bags of flavour. Lots of garlic, a bit of lemon. Yeah, that's very nice actually. Can I just say the pitta, quite thick the pitta, and it's not warm actually, it's a bit doughy. I think that could be a little bit better. Okay, this is the mystery dip, and <laughs> we don't know what it is. It, oh my God, it smells like roasted garlic and nothing but roasted garlic. I'm gonna go for it. That one is delicious, but it's literally like mussed up roasted garlic. I'm really sorry if you come and say hello to me tonight, folks. Bread, red pepper, feta. Oh, I like that. Red pepper, slightly al dente. Works really well with the feta and the bread, actually. That's delicious. So Matthew's gone with the old classic chicken peri-peri, which as you know, I enjoyed uh, on our previous visit. Although you must use some of this spicy sauce over the top. It's just a little bit of focaccia. I have gone with the spaghetti carbonara, one of my all time favorite pasta dishes. Will it stack up? Oh, extreme close up. Please be good, please be good, please be good. That is a great karma. The pancetta is so crispy. There's nothing worse than a soggy pancetta on your carbonara. Creamy, bit of egg yolk, parmesan. It's really flavorsome. That's a winner for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, P&O. Right, Matthew. Put the sauce over. Yeah, Matthew's saying you must put the sauce over the peri-peri chicken. Otherwise, it could be anything, couldn't it? Yeah, but he's enjoying that. 
So even though Matthew's not a fan of the rose water ice cream, he does love the Sicilian lemon tart. Actually, this looks better than the other one. A bit more sort of brulee. And I've gone with the low sugar dessert, which is the torta gian, 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 oh, chocolate tort, but with dark, dark, dark chocolate. Oh, I should point out as well that this is flourless. Don't be put off by the fact that this torta is low in sugar and flourless. It's absolutely delicious, beyond delicious. Uh, Matthew would agree on that one as well. Um, once again, the rose water ice cream. It's really strong. <laughs> Will you stop playing with your food? It's very strong. Imagine Turkish Delight like on acid and then you know exactly where I'm coming from. Look, there's only so much two people can eat. So here are a few pictures of dishes from the Olive Grove, courtesy of members of our Facebook group, p and Cruises UK fan page. So the olive grove, well, I think you have to remind yourself that the majority of the dishes in the olive grove are included in your cruise fare. And therefore any sort of misgivings I might have had, any sort of parts of the dishes that I wasn't such a fan of, um, well, it's included, so uh, not a big deal. I'd say our meal tonight was actually much stronger than on the first occasion. Now we have friends who've eaten at the Olive Grove this week and we've had quite mixed reviews actually about the temperature of the food, uh, the flavor of the food and so on. I think online people say how amazing the Olive Grove is. Our opinion is that it's good, but not exceptional. However, as I say, it is included in your cruise fare, so it's definitely worth a visit, but make sure you book in advance. But what are your views of the Olive Grove? If you've eaten there, drop your comments below. We would love to hear from you. In the meantime, thank you as always for watching and I will catch you the next time. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube.